you to introduce it. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Forest Namesake. I'm Valentine, and I thought it'd be fun to give my mom an interview. It's 10 questions, and some of these are surprise questions, and so we hope that you enjoyed this laid back video. All right, and I call her mommy. What's your favorite color? It used to be green, but now it's orange. But it has to be a certain shade of orange. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, orange. I just love orange. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite holiday? Favorite holiday? Wow. <laughs> That's a toss between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think I'm going to have to go with Christmas. Because we have a... Um, our family does a lot of uh, German traditions. I grew up with a German mother and an uh, American father. And uh, my mom <clears throat> would bring in a lot of the German traditions into our home. And so Christmas for us starts, uh, you know, maybe a few days before, just, you know, decorating the place. And uh, Christmas Eve is very important. We have a high tea in the afternoon around 4 o'clock and um, nice tablecloth, real teacups cakes of all kinds, cookies of all kinds, you name it, and of course hot tea. Uh, I grew up drinking hot tea. Uh, whatever teas there are, we just love tea. Um, not my new family, not my married family too much, but growing up that's what we had. And then we would go to um, church in the evenings. Um, it was usually a Lutheran or Catholic church. And um, and then, um, and it was candlelight. Candlelight's very important. Candlelight <laughs> Christmas Eve service. And then after that, we would come home and my mom would have what's called um, cold cuts, where uh, you have, um, in German, schinken, which means ham, hams and cheese and all kinds of breads that would be baked in the oven. And oh, it's so wonderful. Yes, and we would have herring, uh, which is a uh, raw fish. I know that sounds gross, but no. I don't like it, it but. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> Put, it's, you can buy it at HEB or grocery stores. They're in a jar, you, sometimes with sour cream, sometimes just uh, in a, like a, a vinegar base um, <laughs> a jar. And uh, so the, the raw germs or bacteria have been killed basically. And so we would have that and my mom would fix it up with sour, we would add sour cream, but she would fix it up with some green onions and oh and and fresh dill oh it's, it's just just wonderful and some fresh sal uh, not fresh salmon rather but smoked salmon and then of course sauce sausages and you name it. it it was just wonderful and of course we would also sing uh you know christmas um songs with uh, guitar my mom played guitar she taught me how to play guitar and so that that was a full, full and then the last thing we would do on christmas eve we would uh open presents on Christmas Eve, so Christmas Day, when y'all, when everybody else in America is opening up their presents, we've already done that. And then, but then around lunch, we will have a big duck dinner. And um, I did not like duck growing up, but I love it now. It is just mm. wonderful to eat. Uh, sorry for all the vegetarians out there, but um, I can't eat much meat anyway. But that is about one of the few meats that I can't eat is um, duck. So yeah, uh, Christmas, I'd have to say, now with new traditions, with my new family, we do the same thing. We do Christmas Eve just like that. We carry on those traditions. We have the duck dinner. and But then a few days before, usually around about a week or so before, we will head on to um, Grapevine, which is one of our favorite Texas cities. It's They fix it up really nice there, downtown Grapevine. Christmas, holiday, you name it, that's a place to go. I, I highly recommend if you haven't been there yet, check it out, uh, usually the first week in December. And so we do that, and then we go to South Lake because they have a huge Barnes & Noble's bookstore there, and it's a two-story thing, and they have DVDs, believe it or not, they still have DVDs, books of all kinds, games, puzzles, you name it, and of course, Starbucks. <laughs> so that's fun to go to, and sometimes we'll go to the Dallas Galleria, and watch the ice skating. Sometimes we'll participate in ice skating. It's been several years, the boots kind of hurt us a little bit. And we just like to walk around and pretend like we're rich when we're not. <laughs> and listen to the very, there's caroling going on in there. Oh, it's it's just a fun, fun and weekend. And we actually, we just do that all in one day. I mean, it's amazing. A lot of driving around, but it's fun. I don't know if we'll get to do it this year, but because uh, of financial, 
reasons, but that's what we've been doing in the in not for Christmas for the last well, it's been years now. The kids that's all the kids have known. Every year that's a tradition for us to do all those things. So Christmas uh, is my favorite holiday. And for those who are unaware of where these cities are, they're in Texas. Yes. Okay. okay. Question number three. What's your favorite childhood memory? Okay. Well, I mean, I have quite a few, but I'd have to say that for, for some of y'all, you don't, probably don't know this, but um, I've lived all around the world um, no, I'm not an army brat. My dad was in the oil business and so we traveled a lot and we lived in a lot of uh, countries uh, abroad and Indonesia was one of them and that's where we stayed the longest for about 12 to 13 years and um, my favorite memory was that while we were living there um, my dad would load everybody up in the pickup truck and we would the kids would sit on the back side and mom and dad would be up front in the cab and we would, but they'd have the windows down and we go driving down the village where the really poor people lived. I mean, we're talking really poor. I mean, houses in um, some of them just, you know, in huts kind of thing, standing over water that was filthy. But, um, and we're not talking bad about that, those kind of things. That's just their, their living um, situations. But my parents were very well known in the uh, community where we lived and they always taught me and my brother to embrace cultures around the world regardless of culture regardless of religion regardless of skin color just embrace them and love them and so that's what we did and we we went on this pickup truck ride every evening when the sun was going down it was so beautiful and yes indonesia can have nice breezy cool evenings and um so yeah, and, and I was on the island of Sumatra, that's where I lived, and um, yeah, it, it was nice, and we would just kind of call out to the little village kids that would come running out, and they'd run alongside the pickup truck, we wouldn't go very fast, and they would speak to us in Indonesian, and it was just a, and then we'd smell the fire burning, because they did a lot of, you know, burning of things, that's how they would get rid of their trash, and so... But I know, <laughs> I know trash is not supposed to smell good, but I don't know, they must have been burning something else because it smelled really good. And um, yeah, it was just, a, that was probably, that was my favorite memory, I'd have to say for sure. I, I miss those days, I really do. <laughs> mm, I wish I could have been there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question four. What's a hobby or skill you'd like to have? Hmm, hobby or skill I'd like to have? Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Let me think. Well, I, I like to draw, and I've drawn, um, for those of you who grew up in the, I was born in the 60s, uh, so that's kind of, you know, how old I am, 55, and back in my day, as childhood, uh, cartoons was the big thing, now it's anime, <laughs> but cartoons, of course, is very different. I mean, just think of Bugs Bunny cartoons, if you've seen that, that's, I like to draw those kind of things, but I wish that my skill was just to be able to draw portraits. I love people, I love their expressions. And if I could use Valentine as an example, she has the most beautiful face when she's crying. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she is just oh. Oh, beautiful. And I wish I could just capture that on canvas and just paint it. I wish I could do that. So I'm actually taking drawing uh, classes on my own through library books and I'm <laughs> teaching myself how to draw portraits and those kind of things right now, how to do noses and eyes. I can't do that in human form. I can only do it in cartoon form. <laughs> so that would have to be it. <laughs> Question five. What's your dream vacation? Is it a vacation that I've been to already or it a vacation that I would like to go to? Either. It's your dream vacation. Okay. Well, I've always wanted to go to, I think it's Fiji. Fiji Is it Fiji Islands or the country of Fiji? I think it's a bunch of islands all together but I've seen pictures of it. It's gorgeous. We're talking clear mm. blue-green waters. Oh, I've seen pictures of it. Mountains. They've got some jungle there. And I heard it's predominantly Christian, which is amazing. Out there in the middle of, I think it's called Indo Indochina or something. It's in the middle of the, I want to say the Pacific Ocean. I mean, it, it looks spectacular from satellite, but um, that's where I'd like to go someday. So, and yeah. would you do tent camping or cabin camping? If I was there, uh -huh. I was gonna say I was gonna stay in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> if 
I had the hey, money. That, that's good too. If I, yeah, if I had the money, I would stay in a nice hotel. I'm not a tent person myself. <laughs> right. Well, no, I like tents. I you know, because we like we've done primitive tent mm -hmm. camping, camping. But um, I think if I was going to gonna go that far away on vacation, I'd want to stay in a nice <laughs> hotel. <laughs> Question six: What's your favorite hymn or Christian song? Well, it used to be Amazing Grace, but it's you know, Amazing Grace is getting to be a very is a very popular song, and after a while, I just I don't mind listening to it, and I don't mind singing it and worship, worshiping to the Lord with it. But I'd have to say that currently, my favorite song it's actually a, a, a tie. Can I can I do yeah. a tie? Okay, it's a tie between if I'm saying it wrong, be be thou my vision, mm. and come thou fount. Those are my, is it Come Thou Found yeah. of Every Blessing? Yeah. Those, I don't know the total title, but I just love the tune. Mm -hmm. I'm more into tunes than I am words, but the words on both of those are beautiful as well. Very so, convicting. Yeah. yeah. Question seven. What's your favorite Old Testament book of the Bible? Hmm. Well, Valentine probably knows that I'm not too fond of the Old Testament, and I may have shared that on some uh, comments before because it's uh, like a history book to me. And I don't like history and I in fact I failed history in, in high school so uh, it's gonna be a hard one I guess it would have to be Proverbs because yep. I read it every day and a pastor once taught me if if you don't have any time to do a Bible study at least read the Proverbs of the day so for example the time that we're the day that we're doing this video is um, was it, uh, October 3rd but mm. by the time it's aired it's gonna be a different date but today is October 3rd and so I would read Proverbs number three. I would read the whole thing. And I just love it. It's convicting, it's humbling, it gets your attention. I just love it. Love Proverbs. Mm, yeah. Lots of wisdom. <laughs> yes. Now what's your favorite New Testament book of the Bible? New Testament, okay, well, again, I, I, apparently I like those convicting type of books that really step, get on, your you, toes. step on your toes kind of thing. I really do like that for me because um, it gets my attention again. It, wakes me up a little bit of what I need to do and what not to do and that would have to be the book of James mm. I really love the book of James for sure yeah mm. okay here's the fun one do you prefer peas or carrots to eat oh, well I'd have well I like both of them but I guess if I have to choose it would have to be green peas <laughs> And I don't like the petite ones. I, I don't know what it is, but they have a different taste and I don't like those. I like the regular green peas. I could eat them by the bag bagfuls. They have to be cooked, of course, mm. you know, but yeah. And you prefer them with the herbs that you yes. do, right? My, my mom used to do it with um, fresh um, dill and fresh, sometimes gr fresh green onions, but mainly the dill. That does wonders. Try it with fresh dill and saute it. You know, after you've cooked it or, or steamed it, then saute it with just a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, a little garlic, fresh dill. Mm, try it and then tell me what you think if you do try it. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last yeah. question. What's the most uh, encouraging advice you've been given? Oh, wow or something wise that someone told you and it's really stuck with you all these years? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I guess it would have to be, um, don't worry Don't worry about tomorrow. Kind of with the, with the scripture, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow's got its own problems. Um, but uh, when I married into my husband's family, they, they had this saying, and I'm not making fun of them because I didn't grow up in the country. These people are true country people. They're farmers and they have their own terminology. And I heard um, someone say to me, well, we'll cr when I was worried about something and they said, well, we're cr we will cross that bridge when we get to it. And I just, I actually took it literally and I looked around outside and I said, what bridge? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> and then they still didn't, that didn't register and I said what bridge you said we're gonna we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it and they said haven't you heard that term before <laughs> <laughs> like I was dumb or something but I said no I've never heard that term before tell me what that means and then they explained to me for those of you who are also kind of in the dark here not knowing what that's about basically don't worry about it something that we haven't gotten to yet when we get to that problem and we're faced with that problem then we will worry about that situation at that time but don't worry about it ahead of time so i thought that was kind of neat that was that was pretty good advice because 
Mm -hmm. That's a term I will not forget. Cross, we'll cross that bridge when, when we get to it. So right. uh, that would have to be probably the best advice. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thank you for being interviewed. <laughs> oh, sure, no problem. And we hope that you enjoyed. If you want a part two, how about you um, list some questions for her down below? And in another video, we'll do part two, or maybe another interview with my dad, or they might interview me. So yeah. let us know what questions you have for us. And yeah. we pray that you have a blessed day. Goodbye. Bye bye.